tell me more about your assessment of the meeting between Chinese and the U.S. president. I thought it was a good meeting. I'm very pleased. Um, there were two adults in the room, um, each very respectful of the other, um, each representing one of the two largest economies in the world. And I underline the word respectful. I think each was very respectful, didn't call names either way, and uh, did not personalize it, but talked about problems for three and a half hours. Now, and I hope that they meet more frequently. Person-to-person -person meetings are, are very beneficial. And um, if, if President Xi and President Biden were to say, lock in every six months a, a meeting somewhere and just put, lock it in, that would help very, very much. The real problem, though, is um, the question is, what's next? When President Biden goes back home to the U.S., President Xi back home to China, um, then each has to face the domestic politics in, in his own country. Uh, in the United States, domestic politics against China is, is fierce. However, Biden is the president, and he will have a lot of say in what uh, his, his party does in Washington. Uh, how do you see their capabilities, the two leaders, to implement what they promised? Uh, each is going to go back and, and try to implement what was generally ag agreed to um, in Bali. Now, there was no real agreement except just to work together, communicate together. Um, President Biden will face pretty strong pressure from hawks in the United States. They, they tend to be in the Republican Party, but there are a lot of hawks in the Democratic Party, too. That, that's, that's a big problem he's going to have. And President Xi has his own <laughs> domestic issues um, in, in China. He's each had a good feeling with uh, President Biden with the midterms, which generally turned out better for Democrats than he would have expected. But the difference here is that um, China is not certain how long President Biden is going to be president. He may not run again. And um, if he does run again, he may not. He may be defeated. So it's he has to take what Biden said with a few grains of salt.